Hello guys, this is Andy from Mooncake Visuals and in today's video we're gonna see a really cool feature inside Unreal Engine. It's basically a hem for the animation. Um, and it's the 3D text actor you may have seen it in the past. But the thing is that uh, this tool is it, this tool is really really cool. I mean, it will be we'll be able to create this kind of 3D text with depth in our scene. But not only that, we also will be able to animate it in a really cool way. So to do that, we just go out. We're just gonna go to our plugins, and we're gonna enable text 3D. And there is a 3D text 3D plugin. You just enable that, and here in the place actor, you can just drag a text 3D actor as you can see it. And there you go. So the thing is that here you got the same parameters as the, you know, as a normal text. We got a text, uh, for example, my 3D actor. As you can see it. And we got extrude, the extrude parameter. I mean, how that will be the text. And so it's 50, so you can see it. And we also got bevel, like two. This beveling is for the, like the edges, the borders. Okay, here. We got the outline, so it guess that we only want the outline of the text. It's really cool, you know, if you combine like two texts and you set one to outline and leave it like that. Really cool possibility. So here we got the material slot. Uh, we have multiple slots. We got one for the front, which is basically this cover. As you can see it, the front. We got the bevel, which is basically the border. Let me just set this to material like this. We got also material for the extrude and material for the back. And so on, pretty self-explanatory. We got the font here, where we see the font, we just need to create a font for it. And for the alignment, we got center, you know, the normal alignment. And we got the vertical alignment here. And also we got the kerning, it's like the space between the characters, like 10, 100, you see it. Also we got the line spacing, is is when you, when you have a multi-line text, it's just, this is the spacing, and this is the whole word, the word spacing. So, for example, 100. So you can see the space is only when there's a separation of words. But yeah, basically, basically that's it. If we if we want if we want to modify the content of it, we just need, as you can see, we just need to only access this component. This is this is basically a component. So, for example, if I drag this into the level blueprint. Let me just drag and drop this here. And I just drag from here, set text. You see that it's got a function set, set text, but it's calling from the 3D text component. As you can see, first get the component, and then we set the text to whatever value we decided. So in this case, for example, from for axiometry, we got the 3D text component. We set the text to, a te to whatever text that we sent from axiometry, okay? Cool. Now, that means that, for example, if I go to my blueprint and I create a new class, I'm going to create a new blueprint. Let's call it BP custom text. There you go. And from here, right, we can just go to add component. Let's add a plane. Just you have like a clear example. So let's pretend this plane is like a picture. I mean, a picture of a player or whatever, and we want to show the name, so we can add a 3D text component, as you can see, text 3D, and we got the component there, and then we got this cool blueprint actor that we will be able, that will be able to, you know, to use dynamically. So, for example, we got the player picture here, and then we got the text of his name or whatever, and when we when we drag to the scene, as you can see it. it it will be like the same. If we go drag this to the 3D text and then we just set text, as you can see, it will call it text. Oh, sorry. Same set text, as you can see it. It will call the text 3D component that was assigned. So it's basically the same. We can do pretty much thing. But we're not gonna limit here. We'll, we can also do a really cool thing, which is basically like a, some sort of character animation. And to do that, we just go to our actor and then we add a component. As you can see here, there's text 3D character transform. You click on that and there you go. 
So we got here location. We can modify, you know, we can animate the location based on offset and distance. So for example, I want the character to be at 100 units on X axis and 100 unit in C axis. So it's, it moves the way. We use this location progress, as you can see. So basically this is the main thing that we animate. You can see it. So for example, I want to animate from center, you see it. And also to center, you see it. And the opposite. So from back to the from the front, from the right to the left. I'm sorry. So really cool. So we can also have we can do it with the scale, so you can see it, and with the rotation. Now, if I open this text sequence, uh, which is basically a level sequence I just pre-created, you can see that we can animate those parameters. So you can see, let me delete this. I'm oh, sorry. Let me delete this. And I got this text animated from sequence as you can see if i play i just animate the location distance and the progress so you see the sequence so it come you it, it goes it come back and then goes to another side so it's just i just set the distance to one point to another and then i just change the distance and then reanimated the progress so possibilities are really endless and by the way if you're interested this project this project will be available on Patreon, so you'll be able to download for there. And also, this project comes with a really cool, you know, with a, with this really cool actor, which is basically an, a customized 3 text actor I created. So with some, you know, animation, um, I mean, like some modular animation where I will be able to to trigger from Maximetry, I'll show you in a moment. So the same. Again, we see we saw this from Maximetry. Now, for example, if we wanna do it from Quick VP, in this case, I'm gonna open this blueprint, right? And we can do it from the level, but this I will do it from here, from the blueprint itself. So I'm gonna add a Quick VP dynamic component, as you can see. It. Oh, by the way, Quick VP it's working on Maximetry. I mean, I will release soon, uh, you know, the version that will work with Maximetry. But I'm just gonna show you, you know, for testing. I'm gonna set the event name to player text. As you can see it, I'm gonna add a data field that will be player uh, or new text or whatever. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do here in my event graph, in my QVP dynamic, here, there's a play QVP event. I'm gonna click here. As you can see, I just got the, bind the event automatically set. So I'm gonna drag my 3D text on my text 3D and I'm gonna set text. And I'm gonna connect this here, and then I'm gonna drag from here. I'm gonna get, in this case, I just want this, the data field zero. I want the zero, I'm gonna plug it here. It will convert, and there you go. There we go, sorry. Now I'm gonna drag my actor here, so you can see it. Now, if I hit play, right? Remember in the word setting, set to QVP game mode and drag the, the QVP director to your scene. So you can see where it says QVP director. Okay. Yeah, and remember to drag the QVP director into your scene. Okay, so now if I hit play and I go to my QVP, you see we got this player text. If I click on it, you see new text. Now I can modify this text from QVP. And now I can. You see, text from Quick VP. So pretty cool, pretty self-explanatory. Now in Eximetry, I just got this pre-made compound. I will be sharing with you guys this one as well. But I just basically set this to live sync because I'm working on that. So as soon as I hit play, I will get the chance here without needing, you know, without cooking. Now when you're done, you just cook your content and there you go. So I just set the text content here, as you can see in text control, I just plug it to the text value. Now if I hit, if I play the text animation, this, this, that's the sequence I just created. You see it? You remember that? And the cool thing about this is that I can modify the text content. So for example, text from Maximetry. Now if I hit play, you see the text, the text automatically updated and then play the animation really cool and really easy so if I go to my level blueprint here the I just create the event which is display text animation this one and 
the first thing I do, I just update the text before play the animation because you can set, I mean, you can set the the set text here that the event takes. So as soon as you, when you change it in like symmetry, it will be updated. But I don't do that way regularly. I don't tend to do that way because the event thing is an event that is running, you know, every frame, you know, every time a frame is rendered, it will run that event. So it will be con constantly updating the text. Okay, so then after I set the text, I get the sequence, and then I just play the sequence, and that's it. So basically, there is more blueprinting, but it's mostly for this to control this actor. Again, you'll be you can check this from Patreon. So for example, in this, I can just play the animation as you can see it. I can play in reverse, and I have you know some sort of animation presets that I will be able to switch it, you know, and then play it. So really, really cool guys. So basically this is how you use them. It's a matter of practicing and getting used to it guys. And if you like, I mean, <laughs> if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the, like the video. And also remember to check the Patreon page that I'll be sharing this cool project that you'll be able to learn how to, use, you know, what techniques I use to create those pretty fine animations that can be expanded, which means you will be able to add more animations and also, and also, yeah, it will help me. It will support me actually, guys. So see you in the next video. Bye.